Jim, have we seen the lows in the NASDAQ or not? That's my guess, Joe. Um, I, I like, I, I really like this rally. We, we've had, this is the fourth major rally, Joe, in this bear market. And the th other three, of course, failed. But I, I, I watch, a, I, I monitor an offensive portfolio and a defensive portfolio regularly and look at their relative performance. And what I'm seeing in this one so far is the offensive portfolio at every rally beats the defensive, of course. But this one now has beat uh, defense uh, for longer than any other bear market rally we've had and almost twice as long. And it's beat it by almost twice as much in this era. So to me, this one feels uh, and looks a little different. It looks a little more sustainable and stronger. And also the offensive portfolio, of course, goes up in every bear market rally. But in the past three, the defensive portfolio also went up. In this one, you're seeing the offense go up and defense has actually gone down. So I kind of think, you know, sentiment has been really bad for a while, Joe. And so I think the selling's dissipated long ago. The nervous Nellies are gone. But the problem has been lack of buying. But given how this rally feels with offense really dominating, I think we're seeing uh, – Investors turning to offense, turning to buying, and dumping defensive positions. I think it looks more sustainable, but we'll see. I um, There's a lot of people I don't listen to. In fact, no, I do listen to them. I listen to them because I know they're almost always wrong. You're not one of them. I hope I'm not on that list, Joe. You're not one of them. That's why <laughs> I, I was listening for so long. Um, why do we not need a uh, capitulation low? Why do we not need a VIX that typically has, has signaled absolute uh, people just giving up on the market? Can that happen over a longer period, stretched out period of time so that it doesn't all happen at once, but people become so despondent that we made a real low? Because I'll tell you, Jim, what, 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 what gets me is I've seen it in the past and I've been doing this a long time. And when you don't buy when you have a chance because you're so scared, which happened again because everybody said we're going to new lows, when it goes up this much, you're wishing you could go back, and it, does, it usually doesn't go back to where you can do that. Well, I, I think one of the things that's very different about this post-pandemic uh, market and really, really since the OA crisis is the VIX, Joe, has been permanently elevated. I look back at this all the way to 1950, and we've had the highest, highest median VIX in this bull market, well, if I could assume it's continued bull market, and the last bull market than we had by a wide margin than any previous uh, bull markets. In other words, what I'm saying is I think fear has been perpetually elevated throughout this post-pandemic bull. You see it in confidence measures on Main Street, and you see it in sentiment measures on Wall, and you see it in a VIX that normally trades 25 to 30-something all the time. We used to get back to you know 10 to 12 VIXs. We just haven't done that in this recovery. So I do think the perpetually higher VIX creates a different situation where maybe you don't have to blow the VIX out to 40 or something. Yeah, I'm and, trying and to it, figure it out, Jim.